Hi guys, so today I'm super excited to share this uh, haul with you guys. It's from Craft Stash. Um, I ordered it pretty recently. It was on uh, pre-order, you know, but even at that, whenever they released it, I got it pretty quick. And I know right now they have a little sign saying that they might be behind because they're changing warehouses. But it came in, I mean, within, uh, I guess, two weeks from when I even ordered it. And even at that, it was on pre-order because it wasn't going to be in the stock for like a couple days. But anyway, um... If anything's available, I have it linked in the description box, and those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items, items through those links. And I know the craft stash, the way I got it was bundles, and those bundles sold out, like, pretty much when they came out for pre-order. So, some of the items are still individual uh, items that you can pick up, but on Ecstasy Crafts, they just got the items in, and they have everything. So, including the paper packs, which I think is what people are really looking for, because they sold out. Let me open this up. Okay. So it is a poly bag with another bag inside, so this bag, and this is usually what happens, if they send it in this bag, which I've told them they should not do anymore, <laughs> well I've recommended, should I say, and whenever I've emailed, whenever I think something had come out of a bag a long time ago, or a few, a couple months ago, whenever it was, and um, and ever since then I've always had a poly bag outside of this, so that's good, because that other bag is impossible to tear unless you're really trying to cut it, right? Um, so everything's in here. Uh, let me see, how do I show this to you? This stuff is so cute, you guys, oh my gosh. Okay, let me pull this out first. And I know I ordered a second paper pack of that, so that's what that is. I don't think this, I don't know if they have a 12 by 12. Yeah, they do, okay. I was gonna say, if they do, I should have it. And then it's also the Tis the Season from Craft Consortium. And there are other sites that sell these things. Um, they might even be on HSN, but I feel like on HSN they sell it really fast, but a lot of times the same items that XC Crafts will have. They'll be on HSN, so, um, I don't know, maybe that's a, another place, oh my gosh, yeah, that is a bundle, okay, so this is, hey candy, Christmas, you guys, look at this, let me try to lay this stuff flat so we can, um, and again, they do such a, look how cute, I mean, that's just the cover, I mean, just adorable, matte and that kind of clear acrylic like embossing and they always do this where if you want a fussy cut go for it otherwise the paper's not wasted right even the cover paper I might use this <laughs> right if you cut that down how cute is that anyway so this one has like little tiles with all the cute little characters I am going to have to get more of this paper I know I just said I shouldn't do that but I always get at least two three paper pads I think is just you know that's that's too much <laughs> But <laughs> in the past I've done that. Uh, this one has like slimline kind of strips or like little seam builders. But, you know, even at that, they don't have to be slimline because this is 4 by 12 basically, right? So you can mat that on an A2 card. Or, you know, 5 by 7 if you're really matting it up, right? The back has a candy stripe. This one has a cute little scene. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this would be great for scrapbooking. But to be honest, I probably would just cut up different parts of it for what I want to use it. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's very kind of like nighties feeling, you know, like those little drawings we see in those days. I don't know. Um, I don't know the feel of it. Look at it. So this is very similar. It's a little bit bigger, the images on this side, and then it has black background. This one has white background. I feel like these images look bigger, right? Because look at this one. It's the same as this little guy here. So let's say that one. Yeah. <laughs> Some comedian, I remember a lady had said, she's like, I'm so confident in myself. I'm the type of person who will measure something with your arms like this and then go to see if it fits wherever else. Because, <laughs> like, usually you move by the time you get to what you're... But I was like, oh, I do that all the time. <laughs> all right. And then we have the black background. Again, this one has the white background. Very similar, like packages or gifts. <gasps> kind of more of like a Scandinavian background with a little... Um... A lot of times I'll forget to mention, some of these things have, like, embossing on them. So it has the clear embossing. And then this one has pearlescent paper. I didn't notice that in the, <laughs> the Halloween paper until later. I was like, oh, it's pearlescent. Um, it feels different. As you can see, the weight of it, you can kind of tell just by, you see how stiff that is. And this one's kind of a little floppier. But it's, uh, and that's actually two sheets. So yeah, it's even floppier. It's pearlescent paper. I don't know if you can see the pearlescence of it. And then this cute, oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this one with the sugar and spice. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, and it has the embossing on it. Super cute. That pink background. We have this that looks like very stylized Christmas trees. And then this one's very basic. Kind of interesting. I'm not sure about this one, but anyway, there it is with the little dots. Oh my gosh. How cute is that just to put it around like to frame out like this, you know? Like matte layers. Cute. Of course, you've got that. The black 
with the same dotting. And then this one has, again, a foil paper, or pearlescent, excuse me. And then on this side it has the white with the snowflakes, where this one's more like a deep, deep color with the snowflakes. Uh, I don't know where to put this, so I'm gonna put it at the bottom. And then I picked, and a bundle had, you know, a paper pad, the little guy, but I picked up another one because I knew I usually work with, you know, the smaller format. So look how cute! Additional topper elements, and it's designed by Hell's Couple Ditch. That's a cool name. <laughs> that is a cool name. So it's basically the same things we saw, but just like a little bit less of them, smaller way. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. You know what? Actually, now looking at it, I'm like, oh, maybe I should just got another one of the big guys, too. Which I will anyway, but this one has that embossing. Unless you guys buy them out real quick. <laughs> like I said, on Cash Stash, I think they had like over 100. Because they'll let you know how many units are in stock of the paper pads of each one. So, I mean, that's not a lot, but it's something when there's zero everywhere else, right? Candy Christmas, clear stamps. Again, these are acrylic stamps. I'll try them out real quick because I don't think I've ever used... Their stamp sets, have I? I think they're acrylic. They look like you can just tell from this set that they look like acrylic. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So let's put this little guy. Just try it out real quick because this is gonna be kind of a quick video. And let's put it on my receipt here. <laughs> and um, let's use. Let's give it a good shot. Let's try Versafine, right? And again, firm even pressure. And there he is. Very good. Oh my gosh. How cute. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this with my... the back side of my pajama dress. <laughs> we keep it real professional here, you guys. You guys know that. I'm always told about how professional <laughs> my videos are. Uh, anyway, uh, so cute. I mean, look at the little gingerbread house. The little guy. I love him. Like, in here, when he appears, like, he's the same little guy from right here. Oh my gosh. Look at him. And then this one, he's, in, I guess, riding on top of the polar bear, or at least sitting on him. And then we have the little candy cane train and the um, cute little Christmas tree. So you can definitely design a little scene with that. And then there's another one, which I didn't realize, right here. I, I just saw it and I was like, yeah, put it in my cart. <laughs> so I have no idea. I didn't even know it came with one stamp set, much less two of them. Um, oh, this belongs to the other set. Um, look at this. How cute is that? Like on a tag. And you can even do two from here or just wherever on the top. The little characters holding hands, little separate ones. This is a whole little scene, having a good time. Some extra little bubbles and things. Little candy canes, another little ornament. Oh my gosh. And then we have um, the uh, enamel dots. Really, really, really gorgeous in that colorway. Look at this. Like for your shakers or just whatever needs you would like sequins for. That is so cute. And all this stuff, like I said, is there on Craft Stash individually. I'll, um, of course, have the link to the... A lot of times I'll put, um, like this one, I'll say Craft Con Consortium Candy Christmas Selections, or Collection Selections, meaning if you click on that link that I'll have for you guys, it'll take you to see everything that they have. And then sometimes I'll be like, bundle, it just depends. Obviously nobody has a bundle right now, but... Um, I don't know. Oh, these are stickers, you can see the back... Um... Wait, are they? Yeah, yeah, it has the, that's funny, because it says uh, chipboard ephemera, but it definitely has a sticker back, so really cute. Again, very much the same designs that we saw. The washi tape, I, oh my gosh, you guys, big thick piece, and then the little guy, it's all the little gingerbread man just doing his little thing. And then this is 3D decoupage. So it looks like it's pieces that are already, uh, this will be very interesting. So we have this piece here. Oh, you know what? And one of the swaps, somebody had sent me some of these. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I don't remember exactly who it was. Um, and uh, and it was just like this. I didn't know where she got it, but it must have been Craft Consortium because it looks just like this kind of thing, right? Not this uh, style, but we have that little piece and then you have all the different decoupage layers and you can put that on a card or however. And I just want to see if they're all the same or what. No, there's a couple of each. Oh my goodness. Ugh. That little snowman, so sweet. I totally forgot about the snowman showing everything about the gingerbread man, and I just stamped him. Uh, those are like the two things I love to collect during Christmas time. Snowman and gingerbread man, and I think that's kind of typical. Okay, and let's bring out 
this guy. He's a little more, a little more serious. This one. Hold on. <clears throat> Just pushing everything out of the bag. Ah. Yes, I'm like, do not come sending things to the U.S. that are just a paper bag. <laughs> That's not going to work, guys. Um, okay, the Tis the Season. Now, this is much more... Look at this. It reminds me of the, um, oh, the other set that we just grabbed, Midnight Garden or something. So, again, little pieces if you want to cut them up. I mean... And then this beautiful pattern. Oh, gosh, I don't... You know, I don't know design types, but this is very... I don't know the feel of it. it. Must be some kind of tapestry or something. I'm thinking of this background paper with like the orange. This is very interesting. Remember, this is Christmas paper. Okay, this is the, the pearlescent paper with a really stylized flower. I wouldn't even call that a poinsettia. It's just like a beautiful flower. And then look at this the little pears or something. <laughs> that is really different. Um, I you know I'm loving this kind of foresty feel here again the poinsettia on this one where the other one was just kind of like a different flower the mushrooms oh my gosh little bells stars totally different totally different than you would think and then this one have more traditional with the bubbles or ornaments I like to call them bubbles because I'm very fancy and then we have the uh, snowflakes over here and that one had the embossing this gorgeous like just oh gosh not paisley what am I thinking guys what word am I thinking I don't know let me know <laughs> that kind of design of that. Maybe it says on here. No, it doesn't. With elegant effects, okay. Oh, let's see. Hmm. This is a premium hand illustrated collection which has created, been created exclusively and is the first release in our partnership with Lindsay Kelly. I suppose this is her. Cute. Illustrator, surface pattern designer, da, 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 based in the beautiful Edinburgh, Scotland. A big fan of bold color, intricate details. She draws a lot of inspiration from the natural world and traditional pattern making techniques. Block print paisley designs, Indonesian batik and Dutch wax print, along with quirky conversational elements. All right, I got one of those things right. <laughs> oh, it just it reminds me of something, um, some kind of style here. Really pretty. Look at that. A more tradition with the holly and that green background. I love it. Oh, the little deer again with those like those little dottings. Yeah, totally batik. I can see that in that. Um, that's pretty. And then this design here, very different. Um, we have this kind of mistletoe, and then the background has like the I would say like a Scandinavian type of design there with the stars. And then we have this beautiful thing here again. The way she decorated the uh, ornaments. Very cool. And the back has the pine cones. And then I think this is the last one. Just like a, again, the foil, they keep saying foil, pearlescent paper with the little stars in the back. Really, really different colorway. And that's why I got the whole thing because I was like, oh, what am I going to do with this? Oh, I have candy Christmas paper too. I'm telling you, that bundle was amazing. I probably should have got two bundles. <laughs> but um, this is for candy Christmas. <gasps> It's double-sided, and look at that. It's not even because, like, oh, a light pink and a dark pink. These are totally different colors, and it looks amazing. What? Oh, you know what I can use this for? I can use this for the, um... Uh, the papers I got from... The papers. The uh, dies that I got from uh, Hunky Dory. The interlace... Interlace, whatever you want to call them, dies. That'd be good. Okay, so that's awesome. Okay, that was for the other one. This is the season. And again... And this one is a dark green and a light green. And the other one was like just totally different colors on either side. Interesting. This one has one side. This is weird. So this one has a light blue and then the mint kind of green. Very interesting that they're all different. This one has more like a lavenderish color. Very, very... Look, black and then purple on this side. This one does have a light and a darker brown. Tannish color and like gold. But anyway, wow. I mean, this is... They do such fun things. And then, of course, the little guy, the 6x6, six six, where those 12x12. 12 12. Same thing, smaller patterns. So I'm not going to go through each and every sheet again. Wow. I, I'm looking forward to trying this out because I think it's going to be a challenge for me. It's hard for me to work with, like, those bold colors, just like the Anna Griffin. Oh, what was that set I worked with? I can't remember the name of it right now. Remember, it was really dark. Was it for a men? I can't remember what it was. But um, I made a card, and it was just so bold. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have the rub-ons that are very much what was on the inside of this, like the the pieces that you can cut if you want. 
Look at their little bells. I mean, they don't ring. I was trying to see whether they're hitting each other. That's what you hear there. But how cute. Cute little accent. Um, then we have the uh, pearls. And we have, again, the um, ephemera that appear to be stickers. So, really, really nice. Again, designed by Lindsay Kelly. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. I have other videos ready um, to go because, like, I've been having people come in and demolish my bathroom. Not really. Just the shower upstairs, and it's, like, right Excuse above me. me. And they're supposed to put it back together today. So... Hopefully tomorrow I'll just be free to make videos all day like I normally do. But, um, and everything goes well with that because water work above my head, above my kitchen, which I've already had to redo <laughs> because of water damage, I am not into it. So hopefully they do a good job and I don't have to have them back or whatever. Oh. Anyway, um, alright guys, well I'll have it linked. And again, with Ecstasy Crafts you get 10% off if you use my code. So I'll have all that info in the description box. But the code is VCREATES. And you can just type that in if you just want to use it and not use my links. I don't know why you wouldn't just pop over with a link. But either way, <laughs> they're an affiliate link and an affiliate code. So uh, the code gets you 10% off. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you at the next one. Bye now.